Right, okay, I've slackened the nut off on the tappet adjusters, which allows me to uh, get down here, and uh, as you should be able to see, I can turn the screw, which is actually adjusting the, uh, the tolerance. Obviously just showing you this, and I've not got a feeler gauge in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my feeler gauge, my 10 thousandths, which is my, excuse me, which is my no-go, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slot it in, like so. Again, I'm using uh, angled, angled valve, uh, angled uh, feeler gauges, so I can get it in quite nicely. Okay, and there it is in. Look, as you can see. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up here and tighten and tighten and tighten. I'm going to only use a little bit of torque with my fingers to tighten the screw. Now, I'm also going to make a mental note of where the screw's pointing. Now there's just a check to do, yeah, I can't pull that out, which is good, okay, so that effectively is being clamped and there's no way I can pull it out. So now what I'm going to do is because of the torque that's been placed on the screw, it has sufficient fri friction to overcome that of torquing down the nut securing the tappet, which is great because, you know, instead of fiddling about holding the screwdriver or anything like that, I can just get my socket, make sure it's set to clockwise for tightening up and get my socket, put it over, not worry about it and torque it down. Now maybe I should be using a torque wrench but uh, I'm a sufficient enough mechanic to know how tight they, uh, they are down. Remember do them fairly tight but don't go hanging off the wrench because you'll just strip a thread and it'll be a nightmare. So okay, I've uh, torqued it down sufficiently I'm just going to check again. Yep, can't get that out, which is good. Which is why I have a trusty pair of pliers. Okay, and I'm going to pull, and out it comes. Great. So that was my no-go gauge. Now I'm going to check I've got tolerance by using my nine thousandth, which is here, and check I can get this in. Oh, there we go. In out and the you know there's a smooth feeling you can feel you can feel the friction on it but it's it's nowhere near enough to overcome you know the movement of the actual feeler gauge and that feels nice and there we go and that is it make sure I've talked it up now Give me right hand this time yeah that's not going anywhere and that's it again I've got one left boss valve to do but that'll be exactly the same procedure as the one I've just done. Uh, after that, check all your, your torque settings, make sure, go around them all, make sure they're all torqued down nice, and then you can uh, reassemble and your engines to sound like new. Thanks.